Hi, City Life family. Uh, as you know, at the moment we are in our series looking at how Jesus, uh, looking at who Jesus is, uh, looking at his character, looking at the things that drove him and made him who he was, and his character, and how we can be like him in this world. And today our theme is that Jesus is our friend. Uh, we see that the Bible tells us that Jesus was a friend of tax collectors and sinners. He was a friend of those who are on the edges of society and the outcast, uh, those who uh, were deemed the not good enough, uh, the not clean enough, the not religious enough. He hung around with those people and he made friendships with them and he showed them what love was. Um, and one of the stories that we see of Jesus doing that, aside from all the others where he reached out and touched lepers and he uh, spoke to Samaritans and he did all the things that society said don't do. One of the key stories that really talks about Jesus' friendship and how he included people in is the story of when Jesus met a man called Zacchaeus. Now Zacchaeus was a tax collector, uh, which meant that he worked for the Romans and the Romans were the conquerors of uh, Israel. They had come in and taken over and taken away the land from the Jewish people and so the Romans were not liked but those that were even more hated were the Jewish people who ended up working for the Romans just like Zacchaeus did and his job was to collect money from the Jews and give it to the Romans. He'd collect taxes and give it to them but alongside that he would often take and most ta ca tax collectors would he would take more money than was owed in order that he could make himself rich. So not only was he despised for the job he did for the Romans, he was even more despised because he cheated the people uh, to make himself richer. Uh, and so he was deeply unpopular. And there was a story in the Bible of where Jesus was coming past and Jesus was like the most popular person in that area at that point. And the crowds were flocking to see him and they wanted to get close to him. And Zacchaeus wanted to get in on this action. But not only did he know that he wouldn't be able to get close because he was not popular with the people and they would shun him and push him away. He was also a really short little man and he couldn't see. So the story tells us that he climbed a tree uh, and he knew that he that Jesus would be coming past this point and he'd be able to see uh, Jesus. But when Jesus came past, what did he do? He didn't just walk past and not notice him. He looked up into the tree and he called Zacchaeus by name. He said, Zacchaeus, I'm going to come and stay at your house, which was a real sign of being honoured in that community. For Jesus to say he wanted to sit down and eat with somebody was like making family. This guy was an outcast and hated by all around him and Jesus said, I want to be your friend. I want to come and be so close to you that we'll make family together. How amazing was that? And the response from Zacchaeus in front of everyone was one of repentance. He transformed his life in that moment and said, if I've cheated anyone, I'm going to give it back and more. And I'm going to give all my wealth away to the poor. I'm going to do what is necessary to make my life right again. And he did just that. And Jesus was such a friend to people who were on the edges that lives were transformed. And I know that for many of us, it can be our experience in life, not necessarily even being unpopular or being on the edges of things, but the fear of it. I don't know if you've had this experience where you've been, uh, you know, whether it's in a school uh, for a sports team or in the playground or, you know, even a works outing or whatever. And people having to pick teams and uh, there's that fear, isn't there, of being last on the list. And what will everybody else be chosen ahead of me? Because we know what it's like and the fear of feeling like we're an outcast, and that we don't have friends. It's a terrible thing because we all want to know that we're loved and included and accepted. And Jesus did that so well. He loved and included and accepted everyone and he calls us to do the same. But more than that, when Jesus calls us friends, because at one point we were enemies of God, before we came to know him, the Bible says that, you know, we were, while we were still far off in our sins, Jesus came and he gave his life and he died in our place in order that we might be accepted. He didn't just say, come and welcome. He did something about it. He paid the price for all our sin and shame and sickness and brought us back into relationship with him. And so... He knows that we have responded from being far off, accepted his invitation and come into relationship. And he says to us in John 15 that because we are no longer servants, but his friends, that he can reveal his plans to us. That, you know, we don't tell servants everything. We just tell them what to do. But with our friends, we let them know what's going on. And so today I want to challenge us and encourage us to maybe go to God and say, well, Jesus, I'm walking as your friend. What is it you want me to know? What plans do you want to reveal to me? 
what do you want to speak into my life? And maybe who do you want to send me to in order that I can be a friend to them, just as you were with Zacchaeus? Who is it in my life that needs to know your love and that I can help experience it? Is there somebody in my class at school, in my playground? Uh, is there somebody in my workplace? Is there somebody in my neighbourhood who is isolated and alone, either because they're not popular for some reason or they're grumpy and there's something going on in life because they're carrying hurt and pain? Help me to help them. Jesus, would you give us insight uh, into what's going on and give us the courage and the boldness to draw alongside and be their friend in order that we can reveal you as their great friend as well. And it could be uh, that you discover somebody today, this week, this month. I want to encourage you to take those steps of befriending people, drawing alongside and welcoming them in, because that is exactly what Jesus did to us. Whether it's the homeless person on the street or the refugee family moving into the neighbourhood or a neighbour up the road who doesn't seem to see anybody and is isolated or the person at the school gate who's often uh, seeming like the outcast of society and a bit grumpy and generally uh, got a bit of an attitude. Maybe God is calling us to befriend them and to bring love to them. So I want to encourage us to do that and to share our stories of how God uses us in that process and also share the stories of how God speaks to us and reveals his friendship to us. And if you want, there's a great little video uh, about Jesus and Zacchaeus. You can read it in Luke 19 verses 1 to 10, uh, but we'll post a link to a little video that you can watch uh, where Jesus calls out to Zacchaeus, calls him friend, and we see the transformation that happens. May it inspire us to be better friends to others as we carry Jesus in our lives and as we walk with him. God bless.